associated with each lecture are some micro tasks on a little tool called Zoxy, which I'd like you to do as you go through the lecture, ideally with a friend or discussion partner, or perhaps several discussion partners. The key to these lectures, I think, is that you should be watching them with a friend or some friends. I nearly said enjoying them there, of course you're not enjoying them. But you should be uh, engaging with these lectures uh, in a group of people that you can chat with, often about philosophical topics and, you know, ask questions, discuss amongst yourselves. Uh, prepare yourself for the live meetings that we have every week where you can ask questions. Uh, now, but of course, to facilitate those discussions and also to get people thinking, uh, I've created some micro tasks, just very mini questions that should involve a certain amount of thinking, but very little writing, if any. Sometimes they're just multiple choice, choice questions. The thought here is that your seminar tutor is able, via looking at these answers that you give, to have a sense of where you are, and it also helps you to do a bit of thinking along the way. I hope, I hope, I hope it does. Um, so how does that all work? Well. If you've been following along the lectures in order, and there's no reason why you need to have done that, you, you can actually see uh, that there's a microtask associated with the first part of the lecture on points of view. So you may already have done this. Uh, if you have, that's great. Yeah, you don't need to watch this. Uh, you're already there. And if you haven't done it, maybe just go and have a look. Uh, in any case, the microtasks are all on this fabulous website called zoxy.xyz. I'm very proud of that uh, use of ZX and Y. I thought that was very, you know, 2015 or something like that, whenever it was created. Um, just go and enjoy Zoxy. However, I thought just in case, I will also, in what follows, give you a little guide step by step on how to use it, right? How to register and sign up, like I did for YY Rama. And as I've said before, I personally don't like watching that kind of video. I really encourage you not to watch the video, go away and do something more interesting. However, if it helps you, that's great. This is what follows. So here I am on the page for lecture one. And you know that the first section is called points of view. And I'm a very good student. I've just been looking at that points of view lecture. And now I'm thinking, what else do I need to do? And here's the answer to that question. Underneath the lecture is a link that says, do one micro task for this unit. So what I need to do is just go over and follow that link. And sure enough, that link's going to open in an application called Zoxy. Now, because I'm a new student, I can't log in here. I've got to register an account. Uh, in order to do that. So let's just go right ahead and register the account there. Um, however you do this is fine, but I'd like you please to use your university email address here and your real name here. Uh, that's not because Zoxy's ever going to email you. It doesn't have the capacity. It doesn't care about emails. It's because your seminar tutor wants to be able to associate the work that you do uh, with, your, with you. So the seminar tutor can keep track of, of your work. Uh, so Create the account, log in, and then I'll just take you through answering that first question. So here I am on the Zoxy website. I've just signed in as a student. And if things have gone well, you've been taken directly to the page associated with points of view, that section of the lecture. If not, do go back to the uh, lecture page and click on the link again once you've signed in. It should take you directly there. And here you can see I've just got one question to answer. So I'm going to go right ahead and click on that link there. And when I do that, it takes me to a uh, a nice question. It's a multiple choice question, uh, not to be scorned because the idea is it's going to make you think. Oh, I hope. Right. Uh, and especially at the beginning, the questions are not supposed to be particularly difficult. They're not supposed to take a lot of time. It's just a way for you to check what you've understood and also importantly for your seminar to tutor to check what you've understood. So here I'm going to pop in the answer. So let's see, a perspective is a point of view. Um, is a perspective a point of view? Yes, I think I said that. Having a perspective is just a matter of occupying a viewpoint. Uh, that's actually what I was arguing against. If you've got deep philosophical reasons for disagreeing with me, you may click true there, of course. Um, your point of view might include things which do not exist. Yes, that's things that philosophers have written whole books about. Um, like Mark Sainsbury's written two books about that, actually. Uh, points of view, we'll come on to that later. Uh, fascinating philosopher. Points of view can differ, even if they're points of view on exactly the same thing, also true. So now I'm just going to submit that. And what I should see, oh, this is great, right? That's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, it's told me that my answer is correct. So this has been automatically marked. After all, it's a uh, multiple choice question. So I suppose that's often possible. And I've even been told, well done. Well done me, very good. Um, and if I want to just check how I'm doing here, I can go and click this link here to go back to the page for the 
entire course. So let me just do that. Here we go. And that page takes a little bit longer to load. But what you'll see here is a, a list of lectures and the tasks that I've done. And importantly, I've got a tick here and uh, no more else to do here. As the course goes on, there will be more lectures that you see here with more tasks to do. Don't worry about the ones lectures from future weeks that aren't even on the mind and language page yet. Uh, you, mind and reality page yet. You don't need to do these uh, until the time that you review those lectures. So that's Zoxy. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so far, students have been using Zoxy quite a bit. So I think there's well over half a million. We're heading up to a million micro tasks which have been submitted via Zoxy over, I think, almost 10 years now. And generally speaking, students get on really well with it. One very important tip, though, is don't forget your password. Your password is stored by Zoxy in an encrypted fashion, and there's no way for me or anyone else to recover it. So if you do forget your password, you're just going to have to create a new account and start again. Sorry about that. All right. Thank you very much. I hope that this has been useful. Let's get back to thinking about philosophy.